What is up everybody? Welcome back to today's mukbang. Today's mukbang, we're eating some Beloved Smackalicious seafood sauce, because it's good with everything. We have some eggs, some potatoes, and some bell peppers. We're about to just chow down, we're about to dig in. Um, I haven't had no shrimp, I haven't had no lobster tails, I haven't had none of that in a long time. Because, first of all, lobster tails are expensive and I cannot find them on sale again. Second of all, I need some big shrimp and I can't find them. Anyway. So, um, eventually we'll have that back on here, but today I just wanted to eat some eggs and some bee love sauce because I know that's good. I know the potatoes are good, and bee love has been talking about the bell peppers. So, I'm going to give it a try, we're going to give it a shot, and we're just going to dig in, chow down, go to town, and yeah. So, let's go ahead and hop into this video right now. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Thank you for helping us in all we do. Just continue to keep yourself safe your night. Best of our day. Help us all get along. Forgive us all for our sins. Feel the ones who do without, put your hands on them, put your hands on everybody, in Jesus' name I pray, amen. Alright, what is up everybody, how's everybody doing? If this is your first time watching or if you're returning, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you have not yet already. Leave a comment down below because I respond to every single comment. And turn your post notifications, yeah. Alright, so, what do we want to go in with first? Maybe a potato, let's try a potato. This is really hot. All this is hot. Mmm. So, um, a while ago, while I was cooking this, I let my dog outside. Well, she started barking to want to come back in. And <clears throat> I heard something like pecking, like a woodpecker, but it was like all over the place. Well, I look out the door, and it's like, Sleeting, but big pellets of sleet, and it's really cold outside. But yeah, so I got really excited because I was gonna get some snow. But I kind of like these were frozen bell peppers because we had a lot of bell peppers and we froze them. So um, I just kind of like heated them up, put them in the um, oven for a minute, and we're gonna try it. So they may not be crunchy. Mmm. Mm. That's really good. So anyway, as y'all can tell, this video, I don't know, it's going to come out some, probably sometime in the next few days, but anyway, look at this egg. Uh, this is the best part. So anyway, I'm pretty sure y'all have seen the YouTube drama with Lips and Prissy P. I mean, I'm not going to get inside this because I like I like Prissy P. I like B Love. I like all them. But I am going to say a little bit. I mean, I'm not going to say anything like I don't think like negative. It's just going to be my opinion. So. We have to be careful, period, in the YouTube community. We have to be careful, period, in life because when you have something that somebody wants, whether that be a following, money, or your support, whatever it may be, People will use you, and they'll use you to get what they want, and behind your back, they will talk all this smack. And just talk bad about you. But, from the beginning, when Lips started out, all these other people that I watched was kind of like giving him a shout out, all this stuff. And I decided I wanted to check his channel out. So I checked his channel out. And I could never get into his videos. Like, he was just too much for me. Like, too much. And I just never really liked his videos.
I mean, if you like his videos, that's fine. But I can never get into his videos. And I didn't like his personality. Like, he was just too much, you know? Anyway. So, moving on to the Prince P and the Prince P video. Like, his character kind of really came out in there. Because, how are you going to bring all these people together to celebrate your birthday? And you can't even show up on time. Or, you want to do other stuff. Or then you have the audacity to tell people, not just one, but to tell people that you're just using B-Love to get you some clout. I mean, he didn't say that, but that's basically what he's doing. You're just using B-Love to sell your products. That you don't even like her? Like, who do you think you are? Who does anybody think they are when they use somebody? Like, you are not supposed, you're not supposed to use anybody to get anywhere. That's just called fake. You're being fake. And eventually, it's going to come back, bite you. But, B-Love just talked about it. And I love how real B loves his. I love how real Prissy P is. But I just don't know how anybody can expect somebody to sell your sauce for you just for you to get all this money, but you don't like this person. Like, if you don't like this person, don't send them your sauce. Like, I don't understand. Like, I just don't understand. And, how are you going to be like, well, in my state, this is okay. There's people in your state who says it's not okay. Like, you can't make up your own rules. I'm sorry. You can't. I'm not trying to get in this drama, but, you know, I'm getting tired of people, of seeing people... In the mukbang community, in the YouTube community, just use people for clout. Just use people for whatever they want to use people for. But they don't really like a person. Or they want to have fake relationships. Like, who do you think you are? I know the money might be good for it, but we know you lying. We know you fake. Like, I'm sorry, but whatever but when someone is as nice as B Love is or Prissy P is or Stephen Tosh is they try to help everybody whether it be through shout out through responding to you like I don't understand how you can just like hey I'm just going to use you to sell my product and then I don't really like you um, I think not, because these people take time out of their day to respond to you, to help you, and you just want to, like, use them as a rug? Or you want to drive a bus and run over them? That's just a figure of speech, but, like, I don't understand. But, because these people, they take time out of their day to respond to us. They give us great advice. They help us out. But then people just want to take advantage of people. I mean, I don't understand. Anyway, that's enough of that because I ain't no drama. I ain't no drama channel. But I just don't see how people can just. Think it's okay to use people or use someone as clout or whatever. Like, put the work in. Like, you can you can ask for advice. Don't expect them to give you like your um 
whole following. You know what I'm saying? Like, but when people are nice enough to give you a shout out or to use your product or to like announce your product, and then you want to turn your back on them? <laughs> no, not today. We're just supposed to be a community that support each other, that loves one another, but we're turning into the makeup community where there's so much drama, where people are trying to counsel people, like, get on with yourself. If this, if this YouTube is too hard for you, or you're just here to cause drama, Live somewhere else. I mean, dang. I mean, shoot. What you doing with your life? You know? We're here to support each other. To love each other. You know? I'm sorry. I'm just going on a rant. Anyway. But there's... I support my fellow mukbongers. I just can't support some people. They too fake. I just don't understand. You know? Like, how you gonna do that? How you gonna do that? <sighs> this is so good. Especially these eggs. Mm-hmm. And I'm sorry if this is not what you want me to talk about, but I just feel like I need to talk about it because I'm tired of people using people. But I do want to say thank you guys for supporting me. Thank you to B Love, to Steph and Tasha, to um, Daddy Chunk Chunk. Thank y'all guys so much for always for like helping me when I need advice. Because, you know, sometimes small channels just need some advice. And so I just want to say thank you, Steph and Tosh, B Love, Daddy Chunk Chunk. Thank y'all guys so much for helping me, for giving me some advice. And, yeah, because sometimes I just don't understand all this stuff. But anyway, yeah, they give me, they, I like, I can message them and, like, they give me advice what I need, like, for, like, YouTube. But thank you so much for y'all for helping me. And that's some people that I really do stand behind and I really do support. Because I love Stefan Tosh. I love Zeddy Chunk Chunk. I love B Love's Life. Like, that's my crew. Even though I don't know them personally, they don't know me personally, but they're just my, they're my crew. You know what I'm saying? But, So, the other day, I was on the internet, surfing the internet, you know? And this thing popped up where it said, I think it might have been like 10 pounds, I'm not sure. But 10 pounds of crab legs. And if you could eat them all, I don't think you had a time limit, because it didn't say, but you had to eat them all at the restaurant, like you couldn't leave. But if you could eat them all, you got a thousand dollars. I don't even know where that's at, because I need some crab legs, and I need to get paid to eat some crab legs, you know what I'm saying? But, anywho, anyway, mm, this ice water is good. But y'all know what I'm saying, like, Let's start being real with each other. Like, let's not talk about people behind our back. Like, if you don't like someone, you don't like someone. But don't use them to for you to benefit. Like, if you can't be real with someone, then don't mess with don't mess with them. Like, I'm 
Like, I just don't understand. Like, how can you mess with someone? Are you someone that you don't like? Like, if you don't like them, don't talk to them. Don't use them. Don't, don't have them to, like, shout out your channel. Don't have them to shout out your product or whatever it is. And definitely don't plan something and you can't even be there on time. Like, I know emergencies happen, but, like, no. Mm -mm. But, this, like, I don't know. People need to start recognizing and stop playing with drama. You know what I'm saying? Like, we need to keep it real. We need to be 100% real people. If you don't like someone, you don't like someone. If you like someone, you like someone. But don't use someone that you don't like. Don't use anybody. Like, make it a team effort. Like, they help you, you help them. Like, that's how we supposed to do this. Like, it's not a one-way street. You help them, they help you. And some people are just like, I don't know, money hungry. I mean, what more can you ask for? You make money by eating food. Like, that's a dream job. So, I don't understand. Anyway, y'all let me know how y'all feel in the comments because, whatever. Oh, another, okay, so, I just want, okay, these are the my bangers that, that have, like, helped me when I need advice or whatever, with, like, how to do the YouTube thing. Um... So I just want to give them a thank you. So thank you, B-Love. Thank you, um, Zeddy Chunk Chunk. Thank you, um, Steph and Tasha. Thank you to um, Southern Snackers. Um, thank you to, yeah. And I want to say thank you to everyone who supports my channel, who leaves a comment, who watches me, because y'all were awesome. And y'all really do mean a lot to me. And... Because I have tried to do YouTube for like <laughs> five years, I think. I've tried different things. And mukbang is the only thing that has kind of taken off. I mean, I know I just hit 1,000 subscribers. And that's always been a dream to hit 1,000. And I've never been able to hit it until now. So thank you guys so much for the love, support. And people ask me all the time, why am I not a bigger YouTuber? And my answer is, I don't know. Like, I don't know. So, if you enjoy my content, if you enjoy watching me, if you will, please share my content. Please share my channel. Tell your family. Tell your friends. Hey, I love this dude. And tell him what you love about me. And let's grow this channel together. And, like, I got a message yesterday. And feel free. Y'all can message me anytime on Instagram. Because... I will look at my messages, but I'm not I'm not on there every day. But when I see your messages, if it's a nice message, I will respond. If it's not, I'm not responding, it's getting deleted. But I got a message yesterday saying that I'm um someone's favorite YouTuber. And I just want to let y'all know that when I get these type of messages or the messages that I've helped you in some way, that it really does mean a lot to me and that I'm touching people. And I just want to leave like a positive impact on some on people. So if I if you send me that message, I just want to let you know it really does mean a lot, and I really do appreciate y'all. Why is my eyes so red under here? Anyway, I just want to let y'all know that I really do appreciate y'all, and that means so much to me. And feel free to message me, but I may not be able to respond every single time you message me. You know what I'm saying? But I will try to respond to you. And yeah, but thank you guys so much for the love, for the support. Y'all are awesome, and it means so much to me. And I know I may not be eating these big, expensive meals, but that's because I don't have the funds to do that. You know what I'm saying? But, gotta keep it real, you know? I'm just keeping it real with you guys. And, that's all. That's it. And, yeah. But, 
Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Please hit subscribe if you have not yet already. Turn your post notifications. Leave a comment down below. Um, tell your family, tell your friends about my channel, about our mukbang family. Because if you're subscribed to my channel, you are part of my family. And just remember, whatever you're going through, you will get through it. Remember, tomorrow is a new day, a new beginning. So never give up. Always smile. Always stay positive. And whatever you're going through, you will get through it. And y'all are awesome. And I'll see y'all guys in my next mukbang. All right. Bye, everyone.